more than 100 million shillings was destroyed in an early morning fire that started at a furniture shop. According to the area residents, the cause of the fire is yet to be established, which began at around 4 a.m. and spread fast into adjacent shops, where it consumed more furniture and items stocked in the stalls. For the third time, the flames of an early morning in Fano have reduced property worth millions of money to ashes at the Gidurai 44 market, leaving traders with nothing to cling on but to watch in dismay as what they had toiled for is consumed. <laughs> According to the area member of County Assembly, Naftalin Madenge, the county and the national government should address the issue of ghost market fires that have caused misery to traders. Chanzo cha moto hatujajua na hii ni mara ya pili. Ni bado wakati kuna wakati mwingine kitu sikuwa tu 2010 kulichomeka tu the same. Ni moto ni kama mtu anachukua na kuaga na kisasi ule ambaye hatuwezi jua. Kwa maana hii moto wakati na waka haiwakagi tu mara moja ni kama kitu kama petroli na mwagagwa. So hii moto na wakaga hapa na hapa na hapa hata mkijaribu kupoeza haiwezi poeka. Wamejaribu hata hii watu wa wazima moto. Kwa maana imekuja mingi na imezima na already kumeungua. Kwa hivyo ningeuliza oro wero witas tafadhali mkuje msaidie hawa watu sababu wako na maroon kwa bank wako na watoto wanalea hii ni school fees shule na wanapeleka shule watoto shule iko karibu kufunguliwa na hawa watu tafadhali ukiwaona hakuna kitu hata mtu amesafe it is estimated that property close to 100 Kenyan shilling million was lost in the early morning in Fano. Most of the traders said they had taken loans to establish the businesses and now they are stranded on how they are going to pay back the money. Mimi naweza omba serikali serikali ama wale watu wako na huruma wa kusaidia kwa msaada wakuje watusaidie ndio tuanzishe kazi tena juu sasa tuko chini. Kulichomeka tarehe kama ya, ya jana tarehe 18 Sasa hatujui ni kwa nini hii moto huwa inahakishwa lakini huwa tunaonaga ni kama inachomwa na watu. Ni kama watu sababu hatuwezi sema sana sana ni stima. Sababu stima huwa tunaitumia kila siku but tunaona hii moto ni kama ni, ni watu ninaonaga tu ni kama mtu fulani anachomaga hizo. Efforts by the firefighters who had arrived on time to join locals in putting off the fire did not bear any fruit as nothing could be salvaged from the fast spreading fire. Market fires are not a new occurrence in Kenya. This year alone, toy market and a section of Gikomba market were raised down, and as it has been the norm, an accusing finger was pointed to the so-called unknown persons with ill motives, the same way traders at Gidurai 44 market claim. The Gidurai 44 market has employed more than 1,000 traders directly, with many other Kenyan families depending on business activities here to earn a living. This is what Gidurai 44 market has been reduced to after an early morning in Fano reduced the market to ashes, destroying property worth 100 million. Kelvin Ogome, KUTV.